Hello everyone, we will continue the topic classical report events and in the last video we started with our first classical report event that is initialization. This event calls or trigger before displaying the input screen or selection screen and the use of this event is to assign the default values to parameter or select option. So we have written the logic as a part of initialization event. Now I will put a breakpoint and I will show you the full flow in the debugging board. I'm putting a breakpoint on 12th number line. This logic, this logic is the part of which particular event initialization. So whenever I will run the program, whenever I will run the program, so SAP will simply, simply check for the word, check for the keyword initialization. Whenever I will click onto this button, so which event will trigger? Initialization event will trigger. So this whole logic will execute and then my selection screen or input screen will come. Before that itself, this particular event will trigger. Whenever I will click on to this execute button, my selection screen or input screen will not come. Firstly, my logic will trigger. Firstly, the initialization event will trigger. Then my selection screen or input screen will come. Suppose I'm running the program. And you can see for the initialization event trigger, the logic which is the part of initialization event that triggers first. After that, only my selection screen or input screen will come. Now I will double click on S underscore O date. You can see internal table name is same as that of work area because select option is a internal table with header line. Firstly, we are passing to work area. This is work area. Firstly, what will be the sign I? What will be the option between? This is our low value. Low value means side data minus 100 days. So whenever it is subtracting 100 from the today's date, it is 26 February 2023. You all know the format of SAP date is YYYYYYYYY. Then we have MM and then we have DD. So date is 26, month is 2, 02 and year is 2023. Now I will do F6. You can see today's date is 6th June 2023. So in from the 6th June 2023, we subtracted 20, we subtracted 100 days. So now you can see the data went to work area as of now. Now with the help of append statement, it will go to internal table. Now data went to internal table. If I will execute, you can see we have the default values for the order date. This is the real use of initialization event and real project requirements. Yes, customer many times ask for the default values for the parameters or select option. At that time, you need to go for initialization event. Now, most, most important part from the interview perspective. Generally, in the interview, we ask the question, you can give the default values using default keyword, suppose single. I'm writing a default keyword. Suppose I'm commenting this part. I'm not going for initialization event. I'm giving default values to the select option using default keyword. What is the low value? Psi datum minus 100 to psi datum. 
have you seen i am getting a red mark it means there is a syntax error now simple simple understanding here we are assigning the values here we are giving the default values based upon some calculation 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 means we are saying the low will be system date minus 100 I am providing some calculation. So, if you want to give the default values based upon some calculation or based upon some formula, at that time you cannot give the values like this. Suppose you have a requirement that low will be side datum, two will also be side datum. In that case, if you are giving the values using default keyword. or if you are giving the values using initialization event no problem you can go by either the way suppose if i will activate and show you you can see low is also today's date high is also today's date but my question is if you want to assign the default values based upon logic you are writing some logic you are writing some calculation you are writing some formulas at that time you cannot go like this you need to compulsory write a logic because writing the logic is possible as a part of initialization event here you cannot write a logic here you can simply simply give the default value but if you want to give the default value based upon some calculation formula or logic you cannot go by this way it's a extremely important interview question and generally we ask yes if we give the default values using default then why why we have a concept of initialization even so in our current scenario this default will not suffice our purpose because our low is based upon the formula based upon the calculation so we need to write the logic as a part of initialization event so what is the summary of the video what we studied in this particular video we studied that firstly initialization event is calling whenever we are running the program our logic is triggering which is the part of initialization event then selection screen or input screen is coming then we cover the most important difference in which scenario you can use the default keyword to give the default value in which scenario you need to give the default values using initialization event if you are going for default values using calculation compulsory you need to go for initialization if you are giving the default values just rent just without any calculation or formula it is your wish you can go by default keyword or you can go by initialization it is totally totally your wish in the next video we will start with or we will go for our next event so that's all about initialization event thank you